Hello everyone and welcome to this first episode of my Moon Signs of the Zodiac. And each of these episodes I'm going to be covering what it means if your moon is in the different signs of the Zodiac, starting with Aries. So that happens to be my own moon sign as well, so I know a little bit about that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be talking about what it means if your moon sign is in each of the Zodiacs in general. And I'm also going to be talking about it on a house by house basis so we'll, we'll talk about what Aries moon means and we'll go by each of the houses to get a bit more detail um if you want to find out about your moon sign where your moon, moon sign is i'll leave a link below to my favorite website which is astroseek uh, my favorite website in order to find your chart and um i'll leave a short description below as well so that you can find that so we have to understand first, what is a moon sign? So a moon sign is um, how you nurture yourself. It is the heart. It's, it's what provides you with a sense of safety, security and centeredness. What your emotional needs are and your spiritual needs. It's the heart, it's hidden, it's on the inside, isn't your expressive identity it's not like the sun it's not like your hero's journey it's not like your quest your identity your life it's what's happening on the inside it's about what's going on on the inside while life stuff happens on the outside this is about what's going on within you your emotions and what you need to feel good so it's the side of us that generally it's maybe a simplification, but generally only really your close friends, your romantic partners, your family will really see. However, that's a bit of a simplification. I think your moon sign does express itself um, throughout so many situations in life. But it is more subtle and more hidden than the sun. Also, your moon sign will show what what is instinctive to you, what comes to you automatically. What how you react to stimuli, how you respond to situations, dangers, challenges as well. And um, also uh, the, the sun represents the father and the moon represents the mother. So looking at your moon sign, we can infer on the, the kind of uh, experiences that you have had with your mother growing up, um, the kind of relationship that you have with her as well. So yeah, um, so now that we've described what a moon sign is and where you can find it, uh, let's talk about Aries and what it means if you are an Aries moon sign. So Aries, what what is Aries for? Okay, so Aries is fire, okay, it's cardinal, it is the cardinal sign, it's, it's the very first sign in the zodiac, so Aries is first, Aries starts things, it's, it's it initiates. It's um associate. It's uh signified by the ram. Also the warrior, and also the newborn, the baby. And um. It's it's a fighter energy. That Aries is a is very hot and fighting energy. Uh, it's also ruled by Mars. Mars is the planet of war initiation, passion, courage, uh, and strife and discord as well. So, when we take all this together, we can say that Aries is, you know, very, very strong, very powerful. But the moon, the moon likes things to be calm. The moon really enjoys things to be serene and gentle. Now, when the moon is ruled over by Aries, it's not necessarily the most comfortable sign for the moon to be in. So what does this mean for you? If you or someone you know has your moon in the sign of Aries, well, it means you're going to be honest. Honest to a fault, perhaps. Very direct. And I say... Um, Simplicity is something that comes to mind when I think of Aries in general. And I, what I, I mean, I don't mean that in a bad way. What I mean is that Aries likes to keep things simple. Sorry if my camera's shaking, it's just my cat 
Um, he's clawing at the, the cable. <laughs> um, Ares doesn't pretend. Ares doesn't bullshit. Ares just acts. Sometimes acts before thinking. Often acts, says things before thinking. So, with Ares, you got some. With Ares Moon, you got someone who's very honest, not good at lying. Ares Moon person, just not good at lying, not able to lie, doesn't have a good poker face. Because it, whatever you're thinking or feeling, it's just going to come out naturally. It's just got, you're just going to show it, it's going to show on your face, it's going to read in your words. Because um, Aries is so quick, so honest, fiery, it's cardinal, it's the first sign. You got that rule in the emotions, your moon, then um, you're going to be very bold and honest, you know, and upfront. This, this, these are great qualities. They can also land you in hot water as well. So, with Aries Moon, the Aries Moon individual doesn't like complicated people, complicated situations. Doesn't like it. To be patient. Aries Moon is not the most patient thing for the for the Moon to be in. So there's a kind of restlessness and this idea of like, well, I want to start the new thing. I want to start the next project. I want to get going with something. I, I'm bored now. Aries Moon person might get bored a lot and need to initiate new projects and start new things, you know? Um, might get really into a um, TV show. And then you're like, no, it's boring. I'm bored of that. Or you get into a game. Like, I'm bored of this game. I was really into it for like a week and now I'm so bored of it. Or you're like, um, I'm going to start a new project, a new, a new hobby. I'm going to take up painting. I'm going to draw. I'm going to, I'm going to try acting. I'm, all of these things so Aries Moon you're so great and courageous at, at beginning new things there's a fearless energy when it comes to like that like just I'm gonna do things I'm gonna start something I'm gonna see what it's like I'm gonna attempt but Aries Moon is not necessarily the best at seeing things through and being steady and um, being consistent it's not that it's not possible but it's it's a bit more of an uphill battle but yeah, very, very brave and absolutely love the Aries Moon. People love to initiate uh, new things in their life. Independent. Say, yeah, good solo worker, good at working on their own. Maybe not so good at working in a team. Depending on what else is going on on your chart, obviously Aries Moon is kind of like, likes things to be... Uh, Simple, work on your own, independent, that way you know what you're doing, you know, and uh, Aries Moon, again, again, it's, it's not that you can't work well with other people, you absolutely can, but there, there is a lack of patience for other people's kind of mind games or politics and stuff like that, you're not good at it anyway, and you don't really want to be good at that stuff, that stuff's boring to you, you just want to be honest, you just want to do your thing, you know. Um, no time for mind games, politics, and complicated things. Just, just getting on with it, you know? Um, and if something's not working out for you, Aries Moon will be very quick to drop it, whether that's like a person who's not working out, like I need to get that person out of my life, or a job, or anything like that. Aries Moon will be like, I made my choice and that's it, I'm, I'm going to do it. And if an Aries Moon person decides something, whether it's right or wrong for them, you can't really stop them because the Aries Moon is so cardinal and it's fiery. It's the ram. What does the ram do? It butts heads, you know, it like charges forward, it, you know, with a head, head first, you know, into a wall, off a cliff. <laughs> you know, maybe, but maybe, uh, you know, like this could, be, this could be a great energy, you know, like because it's very victorious, but get yourself into trouble too. You know, like I'm not listening, just funnel vision. I did what I'm going to do and I'm going to do it. That's very Aries Moon and I know that because I'm an Aries Moon. You know, I would uh, say Aries Moon, it's, they're not like the kind of people who um, hold grudges and stuff like that. There's With Aries Moon, there can, you can't have a temper, fire. And again, it's not the most comfortable position for the moon to be in. So feel things very intensely, very deeply, whether that's anger or sadness or even like good emotions, like joy and elation and that things tend to like just get over things really quickly, like emotions don't really stay, like say if you're depressed or whatever, that won't really stick around for very long because 
air races, you know, that fighter energy, you'll just get back on your feet again. And you'll fall down again, and you'll have a bad time again, of course, but you'll always pick yourself back up. That's what Ares does, Ares is the warrior, you know? And um, it's like that newborn energy, being the first zodiac, it is like that first thing full of life and energy, like just endless. And there's a, a lot of innocence there as well, I think, especially in terms of like not being able, not being good at lying, maybe not so good at complicated things and people and planning and looking ahead so much, just kind of like just super honest and innocent like that, you know? Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, that's that's what I would say about Aries Moon in general. So now I'm going to move on to um, what it means if your Aries Moon is in each of the houses. So if your Aries Moon is in the first house, I would say this kind of just doubles up everything. The first house is the house of Aries, and it, you know. Um, so if you got your Aries Moon there, it's I would say it's almost supercharged point where yeah extra independent extra bold extra cardinal energy initiation initiatory like starting new things and be a bit thinking maybe like competition maybe athletic almost uh competing maybe liking to compete quite showy very strong it's just strong placement um so yeah, and it's like you maybe a bit more obvious as well. So your fiery emotions might be more obvious to other people. Well, they will be because anything that goes into the first house just tends to be more obvious to other people in general. Because your first house is uh, that is the house of the person. Like all of the other houses represent different areas of your life, but the first house is special because the first house is it doesn't represent an area of your life. It really just represents you. Represents you know you, your your body, your body language, the, the way you talk, you know, the way you walk, the way that you are, the way you, you make things happen, the way that people perceive you, the way that you perceive the world, the first house is really you. So when you have the your Aries moon in the first house, like that fiery energy, that bold energy is going to be more obvious to other people. And just you're going to be a bit extra independent in comparison to maybe some of the other houses. So if your Aries moon is in the second house, what does this mean? Well, you're going to have a lot of pride uh, around uh, acquisition, building up your um, your your stuff, basically. Well, like like you got that independence of the Aries moon, and you're putting that in the house of values because that's what the second house is. It's the house of values, so it's like pride and power when it comes to like acquiring money acquiring assets um your values are so important to you and again just like the first house there's an independence here you know like this they're my values these are my things and you got this aries fiery independent nature about that so it's all maybe almost like a kind of feeling of like i don't want to share i don't really want to share i want to make sure that i'm good and i've got enough and um People can maybe see that I'm doing well, that sort of thing. So it's not that you're super, it's not like you're selfish or anything like that, but like that maybe that's the shadow side of maybe Aries Moon in the second house. There's probably going to be someone who's like naturally just always focusing on uh, building stability for yourself, you know, and that's what's going to bring you emotional comfort having your moon in the second house, you know. Um, in your values, second house is house values, as mentioned previously so having your Aries moon there means like yes that is a value having that independent fiery and bold streak in you like that is something that you value and that, that provides you a sense of security and peace knowing that you can fight for yourself so if you have Aries moon in the third house I would say big strong communicator bold communicator honest um Again, it's like playing up the the honesty of Aries Moon and uh, making that kind of bold communication style even more. I would say you can probably be quite blunt, probably good in an argument, probably good in probably good in a debate. Um, pro I probably wouldn't want to get into an argument with you. I'd probably lose. Um, you enjoy. 
You maybe like you like small talk. You're, you're very social. That's a social. It's a social placement. Um, you might be very close with your siblings. Third house rules uh, siblings as well. So if you got your Aries moon in there, uh, not only you may maybe you are close with your siblings, but there's maybe a bit of a fiery relationship there. Maybe you fought a lot or you still do that sort of thing. You know. Um, so yeah, you, you like the novelty of new experiences and new information as well. And uh, that's fun for you. Like, that's fun, you know? Um, so yeah, I guess that's what I'd say about Aries, Moon in the third house. Aries, Moon in the fourth house. So you, this, so this is one of the hidden houses. This is the hidden house. You might have an extra need for privacy. So your Aries, Moon traits are going to be a bit less obvious to the outside world than they, they are to you and your you know your your loved ones but you've got an increased need for privacy you've got a need for security you've got a need to feel like you are taken care of and also to take care of other people this is family oriented so um you know, like fighting for your family fighting for your loved ones and also you really you just need to be close with your loved ones um your marital, par marital partner and your know, children as well as your own parents as well just want to be really tight knit with your family um maybe you had a quite a fiery relationship with your mum growing up you know i forgot to mention that in the aries in general and this is especially true with aries moon in the fourth house but also aries in general but like your your mum might be a very fiery bold person she might be an aries she might be an aries she might have aries qualities and you've inherited that on an emotional level so um, yeah, you 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 like to fight for your your family, and you you like to nurture them, and you also like to be nurtured by your loved ones as well. It's very important is to have that security there, you know that you're taken care of, and that you're taking care of other people. Um, and you're gonna do that in that like warrior spirit kind of way, you know, um, with that Aries moon. Maybe a bit more. Um, I would say that this house placement maybe cools down the Aries moon a little bit. Because this is the, the house that's actually uh, where the moon naturally would reside because this is fourth house is naturally ruled by Cancer which is ruled by the, the moon. So your Aries moon, yeah, it's quite happy here in the fourth house and that might calm down some of that hot energy there. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I'd say for that. And you, you might be more a bit more nostalgic looking back sort of thing. So that might temper some of that cardinal forward looking energy of Aries moon and might just kind of make things just a bit more um yeah like you're a bit more prone to like looking back backwards like that sort of thing you know uh reminiscent and stuff like that more sensitive and more um yeah just more nostalgic and stuff like that in general so if your aries moon is in the fifth house uh fun is a huge thing for you you need to have fun you need to maybe party you might need to uh you just have a lot of fun with people. You might be very social, outgoing. You, perhaps not even that. Perhaps like these these things are true, but you might you might just be very creative in general, all sorts of ways. It could be acting, it could be be a musician, it could be um be like a painter. You know, uh, you do video stuff and all that um as well. Just any kind of creativity and self expression. Uh, bold ideas, big bold ideas as well. And I'm thinking, like, Aries Moon, Fifth House, fun. Right? Uh, Aries ruled by Mars, which is the planet of war. I'm thinking it's almost like kind of like extreme sports, like, like mountain biking or, or boxing or something like that, because you're bringing that Mars energy to the house of fun. So that is like conflict and expressing yourself through that and having fun through that. You know structured conflict sort of thing and danger that sort of thing you know um probably get bored easily you probably get quite restless uh you need a lot of thrill and excitement and if you don't have that you're going to be so bored like you're going to be so bored if you're not able to do that and you, you need to have people around you that allow you to express yourself and you need to have an outlet creative uh, outlet for your self-expression um if your Aries moon is in the sixth house, that means you're going to be more focused on um, 
self-improvement. You may be quite hard on yourself, maybe quite tough on yourself. Uh, well, Aries Moon can be quite tough, you know, because it's a fighter energy. And your Moon, Aries Moon in the sixth house, which is the house of the body, health, fitness, routine, uh, as well as work, general daily lifestyle. They're, again, independence here, you know, um, have that warrior spirit showing up in the, the house of the body. You'd be well into fitness, like crazy fitness regime, maybe bodybuilding, um, really uh, strict timekeeping. You might be the type to get up at five in the morning and go for like a three mile run for work, that sort of thing, you know? So hard worker, very hard worker. Very, very, very uh, good at getting stuff done very quickly. People probably love you for that, like at work and stuff like that, because Aries is so quick, it's so snappy, it's so fast. Um, and I think it's Aries is quite good in the sixth house, almost, I think. Got that house of work, and then you got that warrior spirit coming in, you know. And it's going to give you emotional stability and emotional, uh, maybe not stability is the right word, but uh, comfort, uh, security, that's it by just you know i'm gonna work really hard i'm gonna be really healthy i'm gonna get everything done i'm gonna get pack my day full of tons of stuff and that's true with basically all sixth house moons and heavy sixth house placements but with your aries moon there there's a tendency to just go hard at this area of your life like i'm gonna go like proper like um see what i can do see what i'm capable of you know and really push yourself so yeah um with aries and the seventh house Aries Moon in the seventh house. Uh, perhaps a need for partnerships or very close bonds with family and friends. You might have a um, a select few who like you, you know you trust with your life that sort of thing. Um, Aries Moon, you know, I can run very hot. You know, like I'm saying, like intense emotions, feel things very deeply. Uh, it would be a bit crazy in your own mind at times. So with your Moon here. Aries Moon in the 7th house is almost like wanting to share that with other people, you know, like trusted loved ones um, and show up in kind of that space of life and maybe that kind of helps you to, to cope and uh, also you're probably very loyal to your, your, your loved ones, like very, very loyal, like a fighter for them and it's not just that you want to show up in that area of life so they can support you with what's going on in your crazy life and your crazy mind it's also like you want to bring that warrior spirit to to them as well and be like you know i'm here for you i will fight for you i will i will show up for you and there's a deep love here and a, a, a very much caring about other people and aries moon is independent but having that in the seventh house uh tempers some of that independence so you can be a bit more like you know i want to connect with other people and i'm going to be honest this is my uh my own personal moon placement aries moon in the seventh house um i also think it's a kind of a, a difficult one because thought you know, the moon is already uncomfortable in aries to a certain degree not necessarily uncomfortable but it's not the best placement for it and then you got the moon uh so you got moon in aries but you also got moon in the seventh house and it, which is the house of libra so that seventh house is kind of at odds with aries aries is kind of at odds with cancer uh, with uh, the moon so it's, i i i find that a bit difficult um i think this is quite a strange placement and um yeah one that i'm probably still continuing to understand better as i get older but um yeah just relationships partnerships it doesn't have to be romantic but these strong close connections are very very important for you very vital aries moon in the eighth house right this is a, a tough placement so eighth house being the you know like uh, one of the hidden houses and this is a house that you know it's the dark house transformation and pain things like that so having your moon in the eighth house there's a degree of danger or perceived danger that you might feel um aries moon ruled by mars already in the eighth house which is associated with pluto and mars that's that's uh, you know pluto being you know death rebirth transformation it's like the higher octave of mars 
So it's a lot of like Mars Pluto energy here with your moon. What does that mean for your emotions? Well, intense, intense emotions. Um, I would say a need for secrecy. You're not wanting to like, you're not wanting to like just show your cards. Like you want to keep your cards close to your chest. Like you don't want to let people necessarily know what's going on with you. You don't necessarily want people to see what's going on. So because it's a hidden house. So there are hidden battles and they're not going to be obvious to other people necessarily. Maybe a desire for power, eighth house and a house of power. So you got your Aries moon here in the eighth house. So maybe a sense of like you want, yeah, like you want power. You don't want to be feeling like you're weak. You don't want to be feeling like, um, uh, it's almost like in a sense that maybe you perhaps perceive the world to be a very dangerous place. Um, Maybe something in childhood happened, uh, experiences growing up, and it's like this maybe left you feeling like um, a sense of like you need to be a warrior, you need to be a fighter, you need to be careful, you need to be secret. Uh, maybe something has led you to feel that you can't trust other people, other people can't be trusted. Um, yeah, there's definitely a discomfort here. With it. I would say this is quite a difficult moon uh, placement to have. So, um, yeah, perhaps you had a difficult uh, relationship with your, your mother growing up, or also both your parents as well. Like the moon does represent the mother, but it can also represent the father as well, but typically more the, the mother. So I just, I feel like this moon sign and um, house placement, there's just something here that's just a little bit, a little bit dark. It can sense a bit of pain here with this moon sign. So emotions might be difficult for you and you might experience like sadness and worry panic maybe some unpleasant emotions there's power here though a very intelligent very perceptive as well creative and um yeah just 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 a real really powerful mind you know like just watch that it doesn't run away with you sometimes you know where you can um use it and not let it use you sort of thing. I just feel like this is a bit more of a difficult placement where things can maybe go wrong a bit more easily than some of the other houses. Um, so yeah, um, Aries, Moon and the ninth house. So you're going to want to, I think, dive head first into experiences that allow you to expand your horizon, expand your mind. You, I think, in the ninth house, travel a lot. Like I like to travel a lot be on your own Aries you know independent independent traveling independent when it comes to your your belief system as well you know you might be spiritual philosophical higher education may be a thing for you as well you might be um very educated and that's just something that you maybe feel like you really need like I need to know more I need to experience more I need to meet more people I need to hear more points of view I need to go to new places that I've not been before um and that and kind of like you're not you're not scared of that either i would say you're probably not scared of new experiences new stuff like a lot of people don't like to shake up their status quo and, and change things in their life because they're like, well, uncomfortable so aries moon in the ninth house there's almost this feeling of like you're you're comfortable not being comfortable you're comfortable just you want to see what's on the next horizon like you want to be out there you know like what makes you comfortable is to not be comfortable i think like that sort of thing you know um, and just very philosophical in general, you know, uh, that goes with like any ninth house moon, really, I would say. Um, so yeah, Aries moon in the 10th house. 10th ten, house representing career authority, uh, leader, you know, leadership roles, sorry, um, ambition, well, public life. So you got your Aries moon in here, you will fight for these things. And these things are important for you. Your moon is here. They provide you emotional um, security, you know. And um, so, yeah, you're willing. You're willing to to fight for these things. And I think you maybe grew up seeing, admiring, like maybe had a lot of role models, admired your parents. Growing up, you maybe were like, you know, what I want to be. One day, I want to be someone like important. I want to be someone that people look up to. I want to be someone that people know about, and I'm willing to fight to get that. So that I would say that's very Aries, uh, tenth house. So you 
You maybe want to be seen to be doing well. You maybe want to be seen for being strong. I think you, this is a very public house, penthouse, so I think you don't necessarily have a problem with people knowing what's going on with you. So there's an honesty here. It's, it's not one of the hidden houses. It isn't the 4th, the 8th, or the 12th. It's kind of like you're willing to express your authentic self in a more public way. Uh, maybe wear your heart on your sleeve a bit more. You know, like Aries men can do that. Wear your heart on your sleeve. And the 10th house is like, people are going to know about that. That sort of things. And honestly, uh, a lot of people are going to like, a lot of people are not going to like. But definitely, I think, like, yeah, like maybe having that authority or respect is important for you. Um, so yeah, moving on to Aries, Moon in the 11th house. So this there is to, you know, friendship, um, community, uh, forward thinking, the future, technology, expanding um, who you are and what you are and becoming greater. I call it the leading edge of possibility. I think that's the Aries 11th house moon. It's, uh, 11, uh, uh, sorry, that's the 11th house. Uh, so having your Aries 11th house moon in here, these things are so important for you and they inspire you and you're brave about that like you embrace change you embrace new technology you embrace um yeah like you're you're willing to, to change to, to become better like it's similar to the ninth house i think having your moon here your aries moon and the 11th house it's like you don't you, you don't want to stay the same you want to keep growing you want to keep changing and finding new things you know so Again, this fighting spirit with Aries, maybe coming out for friendships, uh, community, also humanitarian causes. I think you could be a humanitarian. You might be like a proper like, fighter for like people who are like marginalized, like people's rights. Um, like, um, you're probably optimistic as well, you know, like wanting to fight and make a better world, a better future for people, for yourself as well. You know, uh, and just like your friends are like everything to you, you know, community as well. S super community oriented and wanting to fight for people. Um, yeah, like that's where you got so much passion, so much passion there, you know, with your Aries 11th house uh, moon. And lastly, but certainly not least, we have Aries moon 12th house. So, you know, this is one of the hidden houses, as I previously mentioned, that's 4th, 8th and 12th. So this is, a, this is one of the dark houses. So, House of Secrets, it's House of Isolation as well, and House of uh, Immaterial as well, and the Deep Mind, the Unconscious, Unconscious. So, having your moon here, I think you're very sensitive, very sensitive, you're poetic, creative, and a bit strange, you're a bit strange, a bit odd, quirky, unique, that's a good thing spiritual you may have kind of spiritual or psychic gifts being able to kind of pick up uh kind of like packets of information or frequencies and almost like energy or information downloads on an emotional level as well you may be able to be able to feel people's pain that isn't yours feel the world's pain be on a more global scale uh humanitarian again so yeah, a lot of time maybe spent on your own here. Just you, you need you need you need to spend on your own. You need to be on your own independent. Twelfth house, um, you know, because that's associated with like time on your own. Um, and the Aries is independent. I do see a lot of like wanting to be on your own in energy. You know, not all the time. Like not all the time. Of course not. Of course not. But I think when you do connect with people, you want to really connect with them. Like no superficial stuff. Like no. No small talk, no nothing superficial, and there's like, real complete uh, bonding with uh, humanity and other people, like kind of letting your walls down and kind of uh, wanting to enmesh with uh, something greater than you and something more than what you currently are, you know? So there's maybe sometimes a feeling like where you feel trapped sometimes in life, like this is all I am and this is all my life is. With your 12th house, it's like reaching for higher realms, reaching for realms and places that are beyond what um, conventional reality might show and that is available for you. 
but there's a retreat into the mind here. Um, thinking maybe like psychedelics, meditation, all drugs and alcohol, potentially on the dark side, that's something that you might fall into. That could give you emotional security, obviously to your detriment, uh, potentially. So, yeah, but again, very sensitive, very kind, very deep uh, moon placement. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what I think of the Aries moon in each of their houses. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like, please subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment, helps me with the algorithm. And um, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care and bye for now.